What's up, shoemakers? You're welcome to the concluding part of our loafers class. Today, we are dedicating it to apron loafers. So, you design your apron loafers finish, come last time, and then you see, say, the neck, the bend go one side. Like this one, an otherwise well made shoe, but the neck, they go one side. It's called apron misalignment problem. We're going to try to correct that by seeing what causes the problem and how we can solve it. First of all, we're going to design our apron, sorry, our loafers. So we're going to design our normal basic loafers. If you don't know exactly what we are doing, check video one and two in the series and you'll be able to follow along. So what I have done is to draw out my top line and then from my instep i mark one cm beneath it and from there i can begin to draw the line <clears throat> that will form the tongue of my loafers then i add that half a centimeter um point beneath that vamp line point there and then draw my 90 degrees towards the top line now because it's an apron loafers just flipping, designing on one side and flipping and to generate the other side will not really work because I don't want to have that misalignment problem. So what am I going to do? I'm going to design on both sides of this last and then um, fully, fully draw out my apron. So exactly the same thing that I did on the lateral side, I'll do on the medial side. So... I draw my 90 degrees towards the top line. Then, of course, measure in my 4 cm on both the lateral side and my 4 cm on the medial side. So, 4 cm, 4 cm on both sides. Then on this medial side, I go add that half a centimeter beneath that middle point of the vamp line. Then just the way I join that line on the lateral side to generate the tongue line, I go do the same thing again to the medial side to get this tongue line. So with this, I have my basic loafers fully drawn on both the lateral side and the medial side. The only thing we remain now is to draw in the curve of the tongue on the lateral side. Then I go flip over again, draw in the curve of the medial side. The curve of the tongue on the medial side. <clears throat> so as you see it like this, everything done set as per basic loafers. Make I just use biro, pen, trace some make you see i'm well well so this now my basic loafers then again on the medial side you can see that i have generated the same using the same formula that we've used on the lateral side now i'm just going to um draw in the rest of the apron following the curves and contours of this last and then before i begin generate my mean form I go pour powder on top of the vamp side of this last. Then use transparent cello tape. Transparent cello tape. You know, tape them on top of the vamp of this last. The reason why I pour powder on top of the vamp now so that by the time where I go one peel out this transparent cello tape, you know go pull out my masking tape joint body. You understand? Okay. So I go now use permanent marker. Trace out the apron that i drew on this design i go just carefully use my permanent marker trace on top of the transparent cello tape not forgetting to mark out my center lines then i go peel them up out carefully then i go cut around the tracing lines where i've been draw with the permanent marker to have an outline of my apron then I go carefully flatten them on the flat piece of paper. See how careful I did not to get any major rumples, but you know, everything just simple and carefully uh, just flatten out on the cardboard. 
so this is my apron as i been drawn on top of the last so after i don't do that one i will just cut out the last copies and now use them do the very same thing way we do before of generating our mean form so these are the last copies and that is the mean form if you don't know what a mean form is i think check video three or two in the series and you will understand what is going on so we go go ahead and you know generate the basic outline of this same loafers so four on the tongue line half a centimeter beneath the vamp line the midpoint of the vamp line you draw them down to get your tongue line we draw in the curve and then our basic loafers is okay so this basic loafers way there on this beam from nine we go use do our lining we are going also use and do the rest of our upper but i won't make you see how we go marry that very first apron way we've been generated before before with this mean form pattern master pattern way we get before i do that one make i just add the back part of this pattern for the mean form so i will just quickly trace all the line of this back part the back part is actually called technically the counter <laughs> Shina Peter sang song back in the day, say grammar do be my language. Grammar through through no be our language. But then we go do and the way where they say make we do them. So you see this apron, I go align them to this mean form after I done spring the vamp. So I go first of all cut in my tracing channels. I'm not repeating everything we i they do for this thing not something we we don't do for the previous classes so if you never see the videos in the previous classes on how we do our tracing channels how we spring our vamp check video one to four and you go catch every every so i they spring my vamp like this so so i don't spring the vamp finish so you see that apron you go see say the medial side is shorter than the lateral side so i only want to represent that shortness i don't want both sides to be equal so that i no go get that apron misalignment problem by the time where i finish my last but before i begin concentrate on the apron first of all make i draw out all the other parts of this pattern so I'm drawing out the counters, adding my lasting allowance. Just make we just quickly breeze through all of this. Drawing my tracing channels for the lasting allowances. So that's the counter. So let's draw in the main body of the loafers. So now on top of this main body, so now we go represent that apron. But we go represent them in a way that the normal full bodied apron will we be cut out before before will be represented and not just a duplication of the design that we had on one side. So the main uh body of the pattern is still representative of what we have on the main form so now this is the apron the top the tongue part of this apron i want it to be symmetrical so i will trace it from the main form and cut it in such that they are both symmetrical but the bottom part the part that goes down towards the vamp i will however represent as is so you see that finally that is the apron and this is the final outcome of what i had i'll show you how it turned out on the uppers that i made 
So the long and short of what we have done is to, you know, trace out your aprons and then put it on your mean form. God bless you.